Every three years, pilots are required a refresher on survival, evasion, resistance, and escape, or SEER training, for the fact that they are considered high risk of isolation and capture. Tech Sergeant Brian Darbert, the Flight Chief of SEER Operations and Training, explains what it takes to ensure these pilots will be proficient if they ever found themselves on ground. Perfect. Really the desire to help people, to uh, help prepare what they look at as the worst day of you know, their mission. So when everything goes wrong, then that's when our training kicks in and, and helps them get over those, those uh, tough times. Coming down, you're coming down, you're coming down, you go, boom. Drag that towards you. The information that I'm gonna help someone understand or the skills that we're providing someone is going to help them evade the enemy, get recovered, and not become um, some sort of a tool that the enemy can use against the U.S. or even just to demoralize that person. Uh, the goal is that that person never gets captured. From basic medical techniques, land navigation with the compass, onto radio functions to call for recovery. Push enter, start transmit. These pilots must obtain the proper skills to survive in any environment until they are rescued. Okay, just immediate camo. I mean, this training is life or death if you think about it, right? This training, we're preparing ourselves for the worst. I'm gonna take this out, apply camo, and then we're gonna start doing uh, evasion movement techniques. As a single seat fighter pilot, okay. it's just me. And so I have to remember this training. I have to internalize it, take it with me, because there's no one gonna be out there who's gonna tell me what to do. And, and get myself rescued. Staff Sergeant Zach Lopez, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.